So today we are going to texture this JBL speaker using some advanced texturing methods. So let's get started straight away. I'm heading over into this object, click on three, and I will select all of these faces right over here. Control plus, and now we should have everything selected. I'm actually going to duplicate this, Shift D on the X axis, bring it a little bit towards this side. And then I will go into the material, add a new material right here, assign it, let's call it the grade texture. Control I to invert the selection, make a new texture, assign, and let's call this black. So for now I'm going to unselect this JBL speaker and we are going to make a texture that we can make a normal map into. So I'm going to add a plane, right mouse click, subdivide it 10 times, then click on I two times to make a shape like this, delete the faces, take all of this surrounding it, E and S, extrude it outwards, control plus, and shift E in order to make it more straight after we add this subdivision surface modifier. So I'm going to click on control tree and now this will all turn into circles. Going into edit mode once again and I will select one of these edges holding alt and then go to select, select similar, amount of faces around an edge and now we've got all of this selected but it has also selected the outside edge. So I'm going to deselect it holding alt and shift and now we can extrude this inwards so E and Z bring it down set this to individual origins scale it just a little bit and then we can shade it smooth go over to the modifier stack and apply this modifier. Click on 7 go into edit mode open up the UV editor view and project from view bound. So I'm clicking on A right here because we do not want this outside edge. So I'm going to scale this up until it's all the way out like so. And you will notice when this line aligns and this is pretty much what we are aiming for. Now I'm going to move out of this mode, go to shader editor, press on new, add an image texture right over here, press new. Let's make this 4K, you can do it times four and then it will become 4K. I already tested it around so I know it works. So 4K is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it JBL normal, click right over here, then go to this tab, set it to cycles and GPU compute because it doesn't work on EV. Scroll down, go to bake and instead of combined we want to use normal because we are going to bake a normal map. Set the space instead of tangent to object and now go down here and change the size to two pixels. And what we can do is click on bake but first let me open the tab right here with the image editor so I can show you what it will look like. Bake. You can see a little bar right here that's loading. And there we have our pretty cool looking normal texture right over here. So we have to save this. So luckily there's an image button right here and we can click on save as. Save. Now I'm going to hide this plane. Bring back our speaker right over here. Go into edit mode. Click somewhere in the space right over here so we have nothing selected. Click on the gray texture, select it and go to the shader editor. Right now I'm going to add the image texture. Image texture, control T. Make a bump, plug it into the height normal into the normal and we should be able to see something happening right now which is what we get but we have to UV unwrap this. So U unwrap and now it's unwrapped but it's a bit too big so I'm going over here to the UV editor scale it upwards until we get to a size that we somewhat like. I think something like this looks pretty cool so I'm going to the shader editor make this black once again turn the metallic up and the roughness a bit down something like this. But we're not there yet because what we can do is bring this over to the side. Let's bring in a color ramp, color into the color. And now we get this black and white image. We maybe want to pronounce it just a bit more. Don't make the holes bigger. Just bring the white towards the black and make the white a bit more pronounced. And then we can plug the color into the alpha. Bring this to the side, duplicate this principle BSDF, make this white. Select both principal BSDFs and press on control zero. Then add in an image texture and I downloaded the JBL texture online, which is very easy to find. And now I actually want to change some things around. I'm going to the object data properties tab. We've got a UV map right here. I'm just going to call it original and I will make a new one, call it JBL. Then select this and go over here and delete this mapping node. UV map, bring the original in and plug it in there. And then I'm going to add this one to the factor. And now we get the JBL logo surrounding this entire area, but it's a bit too much. So I'm going to bring in a texture mapping node, delete the texture coordinate, bring in a UV map and call it JBL UV in the factor. And now we've got this selected. So if we unwrap the UVs right now, it should only change the brand texture, but not the underlying normal texture, which is coming from this UV map, UV, UV editor. Go over here, R90, R180, and scale it upwards. I think it's a bit skewed, so we can bring it inwards just a little bit. Let's click on three, U, 
project from view bounds and now it should be entirely covering this area but it's kind of sticking on it like it doesn't fit so we have to change that i'm going to bring this color ramp and plug it into the alpha then i'm going to take this normal and bring it into the normal of the top psdf as well and now we should have our cool looking normal pattern also on the logo and it looks pretty good if you ask me but i also want to pronounce this texture just a bit more because i feel like it's kind of fading out so i'm going to bring in a color ramp and bring the whites towards the blacks make it just a bit harsher now for the next texture we are going into our material go to black and click on a in this field Press on dot and now we will move to the principal BSDF. Click on this color icon and make it black. And that's basically it. But we also have to change some things because we need some icons over here. And we also need a roughness map to make it a bit more real looking. And that's what we're going to do right now. That's what we're going to do first. I'm going to bring in a noise texture. I use a shortcut for this, but you can find it easily. Dragging it into the roughness, change the scale to three. Maybe give it a texture coordinate and plug the object into the factor. So now it will be a bit more normal. And now I will increase the detail and increase the roughness until it looks something like this. Then I will bring in a color ramp right in between because we do not want it to be very reflective. So I'm going to take the black part and bring it upwards, take the white part and bring it down ever so slightly. And now this looks a bit more real. So the only thing left to add would be the normal map for the top of this. So I'm going to bring in an image texture. And I've made this image texture myself. You can get it for free on my Patreon. In the free course that is upcoming about a Blender in Blender, I will show you exactly how I do this. Color, bump in the height into the normal. And now it will be spread over everywhere. I will make a new UV map right over here. Call it icons and select it. Select this entire texture, U, Q projection. Go over here to the shader editor. Bring in a UV map, call it icons and plug the icons into the image texture of the top buttons go to the uv editor rotate this by 90 degrees and scale it upwards something like so so let's select all of these Control i scale it down and remove it make sure that there is no more normal maps to be found except for the ones we need so let's see what this looks like i'm going to turn down the strength of the world lighting Go over to the asset browser. I will take Geolites Pro just because it's fast and easy. I'm going to bring it right in there. Increase the scale of this all and uh, maybe the temperature to 7000. Change the emission strength. Go over here, height scale. Let's turn that down a bit. Rotate it around, something like this. Now we've got something that looks like this. Top line a bit upwards. So this is our JBL speaker. I think it looks pretty fine. So now we are going to move to the next part where we are going to make an animation. So this is what the speaker looks like right now. I switched out the normal map image that I made before for a different image with some smaller icons. So in the next video we are going to make an animation using this JBL speaker. So make sure to subscribe and also inform yourself on the Ultimate Gobo Pack. Link is in the description.